Hola a todos y bienvenidos a las Chorri Aventuras de Black Cloud. Continuamos con las aventuras de Edna, Harvey y el manicomio del horror. I don't think these regulations apply anymore. These regulations don't apply anymore. The laundry lift must be kept in clean condition at all times. Eh, hey, usted. Hi there. Tickets, please. Tickets? I don't even see a train. That's because there is uh, a train. No train. So what do I need a ticket for? It doesn't make sense. Hold your horses. The ticket is for the laundry lift system. Of course. Of course. The laundry lift goes through the whole house. There are stops in the basement, on the second floor, and here, on the first floor. I want to buy a ticket, please. <laughs> That's a good one. Tickets are highly sought after items in this house. There are only a handful available, and you'll be getting one only after hell freezes over. Whose turn is it next? Number uh, two will be next. And who is number two? You better ask them that yourself. I'm not giving any information about passengers. Who is in possession of a ticket, if you don't mind telling me? Huh. There are lots of tickets in circulation. Mr. Frock has one. He holds a season ticket, and he's our most frequent customer. Which means <laughs> he lives in the laundry lift. Professor Nock has another ticket. He often visits his Peruvian amber mines, meaning the ones found on the ground floor. Aloman has the third ticket. I'm uh, considering withdrawing it. He doesn't use it according to the rules. Okay, and who else owns a ticket? You said there are many tickets circulating. Yes, uh, why? Uh, isn't that a lot? Your system is totally illogical. <laughs> the system is as airtight as a submarine. It's always the next person in line who's up. But it's my turn now. In that case, it should be easy to show me your ticket. Is there any way that someone besides the three people you mentioned can use the laundry lift? I mean, what about, say, ticket number four? Don't give me this modern mumbo jumbo. <laughs> we use the good old traditional numbers here. One, two, and, uh, well, well, the third one. The one which is neither one nor two. Uh huh. Hi there. <laughs> He seems to be a little nervous, doesn't he? Oiga, usted. Hi there. Tickets, please. What's the problem with that nervous guy in the corner over there? And don't pay attention to him. I've been yelling at him to stop being so nervous <laughs> all the time. But do you think he'll listen to me? <laughs> Dad. Maybe the man would be less nervous if you stopped yelling at him. What? You mean he acts like that because of me? Now that is... Hey! You! You'd better act as if I wasn't here! Otherwise I'll come over there! And then it's ass whooping time! <laughs> no sé, con lo simpático que es hablando este hombre. Solo le grita a él, a mí no me ha gritado. ¿Qué puñetas? Mmm, tijeras. No, I'm not in the mood for its snippy attitude. Do you also get a waxy feeling in your mouth sometimes in the morning? Hello, bee man. Hello, stranger woman. Anna, mira. You can call me Edna. 
Pleased to meet you, Edna. Who's your little friend? That's Harvey. He's helping me to escape. Hi, Harvey. Cool get up, buddy. Do you know a way out of here? A speedy mental recovery comes to mind. That, of course, almost never happens. Maybe that's because the criteria of mental health are subject to Dr. Marcel's judgment. And to be honest, who would admit to his own customers that their demand has been fulfilled? That's quite cynical for someone in a bee suit. Anyway, some of us loonies use the old laundry lift system. The unauthorized changing of floors is possible that way. The laundry lift to freedom is yet to be built. Qué interesante. A excepción de su gusto en cuanto a ropa, este parece el más cabal de todos. Why are you locked up here? You seem to be wise and balanced. I have a theory. I think it has something to do with my clothes. Men in bee suits have a bad reputation. Where do you think the bad reputation of the bee look stems from? There's no question about that. The media. Men in bee suits are generally represented as the laughing stock. And the main culprit? Children's animated films. Animation movie authors are basically mounting a campaign against us. The Mexican in The Simpsons. Charlie Brown in Peanut. <laughs> or Bumblebee from Transformers. Men in bee suits are the clowns of the media. Why are you wearing a bee suit? To show solidarity with other men in bee suits. To open the world market for the insectoid garment. As conceptual performance satire. To boycott the fashion industry. And finally, to express my admiration for those hard-working honey collectors. Admit it. You lost a wager. I lost a wager. Are you trying anything in particular? I'm still waiting for inspiration. A sip of coffee would surely be of help, but I'm ashamed because of my allergy. That's nothing to be ashamed of. My allergy leads to an overproduction of earwax. Oh. Why do you have such big ears? All the better to eat you with. And as a valve for my exceptionally high output of earwax, I'm afraid. Por qué, por, por qué tengo la sensación de que tengo que coger café y provocar alergia a este hombre para que, bueno, haga sus cosas. Exceptionally high output of earwax. Yuck. Yes, it is no picnic. I don't think it should be used in the same context as picnic at all. This overproduction is some kind of an allergic reaction with me. I'm allergic to hot beverages. Ah, I could still use a good cup of coffee right now. I'll be going then. Go ahead. Algo me dice que no podré. It is very tempting. But this is exactly what such art is all about. The angrier I get at my own understanding of the need not to swipe the key, the deeper the genius of the work becomes. And the more I realize I can take the key, the madder I get as a result. Emocionante. Perdona. Eh... Bueno, eso es coger. If you want to move football tables. You should play against meta games. It's broken and there are no balls. Now I see why the loonies think this is a bar. Hey, don't touch that. That's the only spoon I could find in the whole house. Cuchara, eso es una cuchara. Who are you? Hi, Edna. I'm Peter. Really? What parents call their child Peter? How old are you anyway? Nobody's named Peter nowadays. My, 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 my. What an exceptionally ugly name. I'd kill myself if I had a name like that. 
Uh, no, I mean, I mean, it isn't that bad. The name might be ugly, but it becomes you in a way. Is there something wrong with you? Something wrong doesn't even begin to describe it. It's my 40th birthday today. Yet one more year, one more decade on the odometer. Yeah. My life really can't get much worse. You have a bipolar disorder, right? The doc calls it that. Yeah. And what do you call it? I call it Peter. Ha! <laughs> I could try to cheer you up a little. You might as well try. I don't see how that could make things worse. At least, you've got your health. Still, the decline will happen inevitably. You might as well be happy that at least the machine is still ticking away satisfactorily. Because that's what the body basically is. Not much more than a machine. And every machine ends up in a junkyard eventually. Of course, there's a long phase where you try to keep it running. A little fix here, a little repair there, <laughs> but still, it, it's enough. <laughs> it's better to not even try. No machine is designed to last forever. And you need to recognize the point where it's merely a nuisance to all. Hmm. I've lost a thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh, yeah. Right. It's a beautiful day and the sun is shining. Well, okay. That doesn't help you a great deal in here. You are locked up in here after all. So you can't share in all the great activities people can do on the outside. But maybe it helps to bear in mind that everyone else is having fun. Because unlike you, they can do whatever they please. And let's be honest here. They're probably happy that you're not with them. You're not exactly the life and soul of a party. Um... I've lost the thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh yeah, right. At least you're still alive. That doesn't go without saying at your age, you know? You're entering a phase in your life where the only way is down. The good times won't return. And you might as well forget about all the achievements you haven't made by now. You've missed that boat, Peter. From this point on, it's going to get permanently worse. Uh... I've lost the thread just now. What was I driving at? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, this man walks into the docks. Well, the man is approximately your age, so that's old. The doc says, Peter, you won't be around much longer. That wasn't the whole joke, was it? What joke? I only wanted to gently prepare you for what's coming soon. This is not exactly encouraging. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Your problems are completely irrelevant in a cosmological context. To be more precise, you are irrelevant from a cosmological standpoint. I mean, what good does your existence do to anybody? And who will care when you don't exist anymore? Have you ever done anything that will leave a lasting effect? What is there that will last anyway? <laughs> Nothing. Even the pyramids will crumble and fall eventually. In the end, all is futile, and all you ever struggled for, poof, just hot air. What I'm trying to say is... Uh... Well, what exactly? You wanted to cheer me up. Oh yeah, right. Se le da muy bien hacer. I give up. You're simply too hard a nut to crack. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Se le da muy bien hacer, amigos. Do you know a way out of here by any chance? There is no way out. Not out of this building. Not out of this skin of mine. Not out of this life. I'd better leave you alone in your despair. Right. Why should anyone want to keep me company? You're right. I don't know either. <laughs> El Batman probablemente. Invisible Man? Is that you? Who else could it be? 
Vale. I gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. No creo que esto sirva aquí. Empty. You don't put things in there. Things come out. I hope. I need a coin. Vaya. Isn't that? Yes, it's a chair. I'd rather not. The fluid in my kneecaps tends to clot quickly when I sit down. Ah uh ha. -huh. I'll start smoking after I've escaped. I promise. <laughs> Barkeep, one drink, please. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm still serving this gentleman here. But he already has a drink. Don't tell me my job. <laughs> No, thank you. I'm not into occupation. No, thank you. ¡Qué miedo! She's completely wound up. ¿Por qué ella tiene ropa? Y que hace Que la mantienen caliente. Wow. Where are the other guests? Hello. It's a surprise party. What kind of surprise would it be if everyone knew about it? You didn't have to do that. The party is not for you. Today is the birthday of Peter. Oh, but please don't tell him the party is here. It's supposed to be a surprise. We'll see about that. You have to promise you won't tell him. Okay. Promise? All right, I promise. Swear it. I swear. Cross your heart. Okay, okay, okay. Cross your heart and hope to die. I swear it, okay? Okay. I'll take your word for it. Do you know a way out of here? Why would I want to get out of here? There's always something going on in here. The people are nice. Plus, you don't have to feel embarrassed about anything in here. If you forget to put your pants on, nobody will notice. If you want to get out of here, you'd better talk to Emilio. If you can find him, I believe he's currently working on a tunnel. If you get really desperate, you could talk to the key master. Oh. But I'd only do that as a last resort if I were you. That guy is dangerous. His solitary confinement cell is on the second floor, though. So you'll have to wait until after lunch. We're being escorted to the dorm then, you know. Key master, huh? Interesting choice of venue. What do you mean? Don't you think more people would come? If it wasn't in the bathroom of all places? I don't know. It is a surprise party after all. And what could possibly be more surprising? Surprising doesn't do it justice. Appalling or absurd. That's more like it. Oh, yeah? So, where would you have thrown the party? 
How about the bar? That's out of the question. Peter's been sitting there all day long, crying into his drink. And it's supposed to be a surprise party. He's a little touchy when it comes to his age. I hope the party can cheer him up a little. How about the break room? Huh? No! We never go in there anymore. Three people vanished there once. They were actors. I think they were auditioning for a play. They were never seen again. Una referencia al alguien voló su del cuco. How about the TV room? No! I loathe parties where everyone just hangs around in front of the tube! How about the recreation room? That was my first thought too! But King Adrian was opposed! King Adrian? He rules the lounge. He is a wise and just king! And rumor has it that he's psychic. He rarely receives visitors, though, I'm afraid. His right-hand man, Drugglejug, is as tough as he is attractive. Así que tenemos que traer aquí a Peter, tenemos que conseguir vencer al rey Adrian, tenemos que hacer lo de los tickets, y tenemos que conseguir una percha al hombre aluminio. Keep on celebrating. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Turn the lights. On. We'll see. Aquí que había. Vale, sí. Y aquí estaba el bar, ¿no? Sí. Hey you. Petra is having a surprise party for you in the bathroom. I know. Don't you want to go? I think she went out of her way to do it. Not even wild horses could drag me there. Why do you think I'm hiding here? Petra, with her constant high spirits, is more annoying than a bag of crab lice. At least crab lice keep their mouths shut. Ha! Huh. I'd better leave. Right. You're right. Some ketchup with your Why? There's nothing to relish. Some mustard with your self pity? Why? There's nothing to relish. These pot holders remind me of you, Peter. They do? It's more the pot part than the holder part, though. But yes, your appearance is somewhat pot holder like. That doesn't work that way. Every time Captain Useless eats kryptonite, he suffers from depression for days afterwards. Uh -huh. Shall I put you out of your misery? What misery do you mean exactly? Well, the face, this woebegone appearance, the lack of purpose, the whole totality of the superfluous Peter existence is what I mean. I'll get back to you on that. Qué, qué, qué emocionante. What do you make of this guy, Harvey? I'm trying to figure out where he's looking. Considering that space is curved around mass, it's possible that he's looking at a point behind the horsehead nebula. And considering his expression, <laughs> someone must have painted the horse green. <laughs> eso, eso está bien. It's broken. Now I see. Necesitamos una moneda. Necesitamos un montón de cosas. In this panel, we see Captain Useless fighting the Queen Bee. That doesn't work that way. 
A este solamente le podemos dar el café. Este no es... ¿Cómo se llamaba este? Come down at once, you ugly gnome. His disobedience irks me. I have the urge to tear something apart. Eh... I've always wondered if lamp designers are rejects from the International School of Ugly. This lamp is certainly proof of that. Este era un personaje de, de dibujos. A dinosaur movie. I don't like dino movies. You know how they end. Everyone's extinct. <laughs> the only light they're getting comes from the TV set. Stop that. I need to know how this ends. Hello. Hey. You don't have to hide from me. How can I be sure? You could be a velociraptor in disguise. <laughs> I'm Edna. I am Professor Nock. Anna. Pleased to meet you. What are you doing back there? Tickets. I am doing research in the field of paleontology. Behind the armchair? Where else would I be? You won't find a prehistoric skeleton lying in the middle of the room. It would have been recovered a long time ago. That makes sense. Are you one of those mad scientists? I beg your pardon? Who do you think you are? Oh, the youth nowadays. They see a man with white hair crouching behind an armchair in an asylum, and they jump to the mad scientist stereotype at once. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. May I please change the channel? By no means. I need to know how this ends. The fate of mankind depends on it. The dinosaurs become extinct. That can't be. They're just pretending to lie into a full sense of security. I wonder what they're up to. Are they secretly planning to melt the polar ice caps? Hmm, you can change the channel. I need to make preparations. Welcome to the Stock Exchange News. This is about two things and two things only. Buying and selling. Great. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. I'll leave that on now. It's all trash anyway. Hello? Hello! Hey! Ho hold on a second. <sighs> yes? Do you want anything in particular? Can you get off the phone for a sec? Certainly not. That's my broker on the line. <sighs> We're talking. Billions here. Can I borrow your telephone? Absolutely not! This phone is my lifeline! I don't dare think about what could happen if I was unavailable. Just imagine me putting that thing away for a minute! When my wife is shouting, Look, Brucey, it's a boy, for example! Or worse still, imagine, during that brief distraction, when I look over to my wife, my stock portfolio goes into freefall. <laughs> I would lose millions! Because I hadn't been on the phone just for a tiny little instant. One moment of carelessness and my whole life is in ruins. <sighs> Your peace. You don't happen to know a way out of here, do you? No, but, but you don't want to get out of here, believe me. The world outside is a cruel place. 
Mistakes you make out there have real consequences. <laughs> you could lose millions of dollars. Let's say only because you were distracted for ti tiny, a uh, little, ti tiny little moment when your wife is shouting, Look, Brucey, it's a boy. For example, that kind of guilt will haunt you for the rest of your life. Algo me dice que sabemos lo que pasa esto. Not really important. Go on with your phone call. I was planning to do that. Pero me estresas. Hello. You still there? Hello. Hello. Bye. W what's that? Bye. 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 No, don't buy anymore. Stop buying. Stop buying. What's that? <laughs> that was close. Hello? Hello? Cell? What's that? Cell? 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 Are you sure? No! Buy! Buy everything! Buy! Buy! What's that? <laughs> Hello? Hello? A lo mejor hay más opciones. A ver. Bye. What's that? Bye. 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 What did you recommend selling eventually? <laughs> Look, Brucey, it's a boy. What? What? Just a joke. A joke? Oh no. Not again. The phone call. Hello? You're still there? What's that? What? Lost everything? Not again. <sighs> okay. I understand. All right. Later. <sighs> Didn't you want to make a phone call? Here. You can keep the phone. <sighs> Tenemos un teléfono. Professor. Attack of the pterosaurs. Mm, no. no. It's just hello, Edna. Ticket. Ticket. Can I borrow your ticket for the laundry lift? Don't be preposterous. I can't do that. I've got to get to my Peruvian amber mines to recover dino DNA. That's too bad. How's research coming along? Uh, quite satisfactorily. The only things missing are a couple of dino genes for my secret breeding program, if you get my drift. That sounds exciting. How does one breed dinos? Oh, do come on. Everybody knows that. Ah, oh, dinosaurs hatch from occlusions in amber. How's research coming along? Oh, uh, quite satisfactorily for my... That sounds exciting. Oh, d oh. Do you know how I can get out of here? <laughs> of course I do. I always use the laundry lift to travel to my Peruvian amber mines. The laundry lift goes all the way to Peru? Oh, of course <laughs> not, silly. You have to transfer at the continental shelf in the Sonoran Desert. Do you know anything about Dr. Marcel? More than most. Did you know that he has a dark secret? I knew it! I knew it! It. Yes, he's breeding dino-human hybrids <laughs> in his secret facility on Jupiter. La obsesión. No, I didn't know that. Can I borrow your ticket for the laundry lift? Don't be preposterous. I can't do that. I've got to get to my Peruvian amber mines to recover dino DNA. That's too bad. I'll drop by again later. If the world still exists, then, is what you mean to say. Yeah, give or take ten minutes. Vale, ya tenemos a, a, a algo. A lo mejor si cuelgo... Teléfono... Me dan una moneda. What was that? 
Dang, the receiver's missing. Change. Aha, tenemos una moneda para la máquina. La máquina estaba. No, aquí no. El terror, el terror, el horror. Y ahora es cuando nos da algo. Oh dioses. Oh dioses. Oh dioses. Oh, dioses. You ask the following. Why would Edna rather deal with a cup of earwax than with me? The answer? She feels much more comfortable in the presence of the earwax. A delivery for the barkeeper. What's that supposed to be? Amber? Close. Oh. It's earwax. Amber. Strange. It sure looks like amber. Gracias. Be that as it may, I can't use earwax. My supplies will last for at least another 50 gallons of stinky drink. Tengo que deshacerme de esto. Tengo que deshacerme de esto. I've got something for you. Oh, Amber uh, from the Peruvian Amber Mines. Oh, what a shame. There's no occlusion in there. I can't use it for my dino breeding program this way. You can have it back. But please keep on searching. Not long from now, my army of dinosaurs will march the globe. <laughs> <laughs> Vale, tengo que hacer algo con esto. Pero vamos a dejarlo aquí por hoy. Esta ha sido la charla de aventuras de Black Cloud y esta ha sido Edna and Harvey. Y estamos avanzando poco a poco. Paso a paso. ¿Y por qué el papel pintado está lleno de huellas de dinosaurio? Así que nada, hasta la próxima. Adiós.